in my observation, because I, I, I spent as a postdoc two and a half years in a department of medicine, and it was very interesting and instructive, actually, because it was quite clear that there were some people who were much more on the clinical side of things and some people who were much more on the basic research side of things. And it was perfectly clear to me that you could not do both because both are absolutely full-time, 24-hour days uh, occupations. So the only way I think you can really do good medical research is to, uh, for a doctor to be in close teamwork with uh, a basic researcher, so that the basic researchers know intimately about all the clinical problems, have access to the clinical material, but they've got to do a, you know, their 12-hour days in the lab while the doctor does his 12-hour days on the ward. And you, you can't just flip back and forth. It's too distracting. And, and nor can you, I mean, it's very difficult. You mentioned this already, basically, that, you know, when the child is dying, you're not about to make them the control, right? It's a problem. I mean, it's a serious problem in medical research, that, you know, that, that the only way you can find out whether your treatment does any good is by actually comparing your treatment with the next best treatment. And that's sort of heartbreaking and difficult, you know, and generally you don't have statistically significant Sample. So it's much better to, to, to have a sort of thoroughgoing, grounded scientific education and understanding of what the problem really is.